An explosion on early Sunday struck a nightclub in the capital of Azerbaijan and set off a fire, killing one person and injuring 31. The explosion at the location Baku Club was believed to have been caused by a gas leak, but the investigation is still ongoing. The prosecutor general's office reported one death and said 31 people suffered various injuries. Now, according to Health Ministry spokesman Parviz Abu Bekirov, 24 people have been hospitalized, most of them with burns. The emergency services issued a statement saying firefighters were called to the club in central Baku 3 a.m. local time and extinguished the fire before it spread. Police in California are searching for one suspect in connection with a mass shooting early Sunday in downtown Sacramento that claimed six lives and left 10 other people injured. Police said that they were patrolling the area at about 2 a.m. when they heard gunfire. When arrived at the scene, they found a large crowd gathered on the street and six people dead. Another 10 either took themselves or were transported to hospitals. Authorities are now asking for the public's help in identifying who is responsible. Shortly after the shooting, video was posted on Twitter showing people running through the street amid the sound of rapid gas gunfire. Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic and his populist right-wing party appeared headed to victory in Sunday's national election, extending a decade-long authoritarian rule in the Balkan country. The early pro posters projections predict Vucic would end up with nearly 60 percent of the votes. If confirmed in the official tally, Vucic would win outright a second five-year term as president and a runoff vote would not be needed. Opposition groups still stand a chance of winning in Belgrade, which would deal a serious blow to Vichic's autocratic rule. The governing party is less popular in the capital, partly due to a number of corruption play construction projects that have devastated Belgrade's urban core. Zdravko Ponos of the United for Victory of Serbia coalition, who runs second in the presidential votes, say these elections are the beginning of the end of Alexander Vucic.